What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Wednesday, January 12th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a nine game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like De'Aaron Fox from the Sacramento Kings playing the LA Lakers who have the fifth worst defense overall and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing point guards. De'Aaron Fox has averaged 35.4 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 28% usage rate. He's projected at 35.9 fantasy points here tonight. I think he can score 40 fantasy points or more in this one. He's 7,500 DraftKings salary, 600 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 230.5 points scored in this game. And De'Aaron Fox has scored 26, 24, and 47 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 35, and 37 minutes. And De'Aaron Fox has scored 42, 32, and 55 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Lakers. Vegas thinks there's going to be 230.5 points scored in this game. So this is a good game to stack. So I like De'Aaron Fox here versus the LA Lakers. And just real quick guys, remember to comment below and subscribe to this channel and like this video to enter yourself into our $25 weekly PayPal giveaway. Winner will be announced in our Saturday video. Good luck. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Terrence Ross from the Orlando Magic playing the Washington Wizards who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Terrence Ross has averaged 21.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 26 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate, but he scored 40, 24, and 31 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 30, 31, and 26 minutes. So I think he can score 28 fantasy points or more here, especially if he can get 30 minutes or more, and he's 5,300 DraftKings salary, 400 more on FanDuel. And I like this pick because Terrence Ross has scored 40, 16, 38, 30, and 34 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Wizards. Vegas thinks there's going to be 217.5 points scored in this game. So I like Terrence Ross here versus the Washington Wizards. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like, now there's two plays that I like here. Not sure which one that I like more. Um, I think I like, I think the one that I like more is Eric Gordon from the Houston Rockets playing the San Antonio Spurs, who have the seventh worst defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Eric Gordon has averaged 23.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 23 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 4,500 DraftKings salary, 100 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 232.5 points scored in this game. And Eric Gordon, now he's only scored 20 and 10 fantasy points in his last two games, but he has scored 41 and 35 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Spurs. Vegas thinks this is going to be a high scoring game with 232.5 points scored in this game. 
So I think this is another good game to stack and a good way to get some low salary exposure to this game. So I like Eric Gordon here versus the San Antonio Spurs. Now, the other player that I like, uh, both these guys are eligible at shooting guard and small forward, is Chetty Osman from the Cleveland Cavaliers playing the Utah Jazz, who have good defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Chetty Osman has averaged 20.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 23 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 22.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's also 4,500 DraftKings salary, 200 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 221.5 points scored in this game. And Chetty Osman has scored 21, 15, and 22 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 30, 19, and 30 minutes. Vegas thinks there's going to be 221.5 points scored in this game. So one of these two guys, I think, is going to score 30-plus fantasy points at 4,500 DraftKings salary and crush value. So I like Eric Gordon and Chetty Osman here versus the Utah Jazz. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Evan Mobley from the Cleveland Cavaliers playing the Utah Jazz, who have a good defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing power forwards. And Evan Mobley has averaged 33.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 35 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.9 times value. He's 7,100 DraftKings salary, 600 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 221.5 points scored in this game. And Evan Mobley has scored 38, 25, and 38 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 42, 35, and 33 minutes. He also scored 40 fantasy points in his last game versus the Jazz. So I like Evan Mobley here versus the Utah Jazz. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Jacob Piotto from the San Antonio Spurs playing the Houston Rockets, who have the worst defense overall. They give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing centers. Jacob Piotto has averaged 31.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with an 18% usage rate. He's projected at 32.1 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.1 times value. He's 6,300 DraftKings salary, 200 less on FanDuel, so I like that price on both sites. We know Vegas thinks there's going to be 232.5 points scored in this game, and Jacob Piotto has scored 33, 42, and 30 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 24, 36, and 29 minutes. So I really like this pick. I think it's a great price point, fantastic matchup. So I like Jacob Piotto here versus the Houston Rockets. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. 
you can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.